Le tremblement de terre, je suis dans la rue, je suis dans la rue. Pendant ma vente, je suis tremblé, je suis absouqué. Je me suis dit, Jésus, Jésus, qui ça a fait Tout le monde, quand il est tombé, tout le monde courit. Je me suis dit, il va mourir, je vais mourir. Et puis en attendant, l'autre voisin a dit, non, il ne va pas mourir, il va dehors. La famille n'a pas gagné rien du tout, nous sauver. Mais quand il est crasé, il n'a pas gagné rien du tout, tout crasé. Nous allons aller dans le grand terrain à Kra. Pour le moment de tremblement de terre, nous avons souffert, pas de manger. En attendant, nous étions là. Bon, après, nous avons fait faire des pièces là pour nous. Il fait ma cendrie pour la finir le couvrir des pièces caillou. Il fait un travail, il fait un bel travail. Mm -hmm. Bel travail. Before the earthquake, there was very little supervision of the construction being done. So when the earthquake hit, it wasn't the earthquake that killed people, it was the construction. While other organizations were rushing to build tent cities, we found that people had homes that they could return to. So PADF teamed up with Miyamoto, we teamed up with Public Works and began training Haitian engineers, sending them out into the communities to determine was it safe. And if it was safe, we'd paint a green tag on the front of the building. If it was stable but unsafe, we'd put a yellow tag. And if it was so dangerous, we put a red tag. After we'd finished evaluating all of the houses impacted by the disaster, we then began to repair the ones that were dangerous but still livable. With the 8,000 houses that we fixed to date, we had to teach people the modern techniques that they can use to make their buildings stronger. This is a yellow house. It's totally damaged. Actually, this is a new wall we're building here right now, and also this is a new wall. Our mason's quality of a really tight, see, all the motors on the butt end, and uh, between very tightly packed rebars at the corner, tied everything together. This was a red tag house because some area, the vertical loading carrying components is compromised. And actually, people live here. It's an extremely dangerous condition. And there are over 40,000 buildings like this exist in Haiti. And it's a huge social issue. We need to act on it today. Here, I'm in a UNICEF building right now, and you're looking at our glycol seismic dampers. It's essentially shock absorbers. Now, this building has over 100 UNICEF staff, and so there's a huge difference between using high-tech devices and conventional construction. So buildings can be occupied after a major earthquake event. An earthquake is not a fatality by itself. It's how you build that makes a difference. The earthquake came onto Earth as a big surprise. We realized that the whole first floor of the building was completely cracked. Miyamoto told me that we can either repair the building or do a complete retrofitting. So we decided to do a complete retrofitting of the structure of the building. And we are also in the process of expanding the hotel. But we're doing it the right way. Each partition wall is a shear wall and all of them are tied together so that if anything moves in the building, the whole building stays as a block. On est en train de réaliser des activités ici au niveau du ministère pour arriver à avoir, peut-être dans 15, 20 ans, un parc bâti résilient capable de résister au tremblement de terre. Pour arriver à ça, on forme les ouvriers, on forme les ingénieurs et on fait passer les messages pour montrer à tous ceux qui sont concernés, non seulement ceux qui sont le long de la chaîne de la construction, mais aussi aux propriétaires, aux banques, au public en général, la nécessité de construire correctement, de construire parasismique pour éviter qu'à l'avenir, on ait des catastrophes du type 12 janvier.